This is the Accor Cube Pro T1. Don't get confused between the original Accor Cube and the T1 Pro. This is the only one that works natively in HomeKit, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, this is a dice, six different sides, and depending on what side is facing up, that is going to be the trigger in HomeKit. You can see here in HomeKit, there's six different um, actions. So depending on what number is facing up, that is the action that's going to happen. Now you can double that actions by using convert to shortcuts. So if a device is on, you can use an addition statement that will turn it off. And if it's off, it would turn it on. So kind of like doubling it, but um, you really only have those six actions because there's only six sides of this die. Now quickly, just to show you the battery, there is a CR250 that they say lasts about two years, so that's a pretty good long time. Now, let me show you how this works in HomeKit. This one is all set up. You can see I have five different lights down there, and you can see there's a number six right here. That is the off. And if I turn this over, number one will turn on, and you can see the light turns on there. I can go to light number five. Another light will turn on. Here is number four. Another light should turn on any second. Sometimes if you don't do a full, um, like put down like that, it doesn't get the action. There it goes. So kind of just like flip it over. It's not going to record it. So you kind of have to like actually like kind of slam it down a little bit sometimes. Number two, did we already do number two? I don't remember. We can try again. Number two, there it goes. Number two. And what number did we miss? That's five. Did we do number four? Number four. We should have went in order. Make this a little easier. Uh, what number did we miss? Did we miss three? Three. There we go. There's number three. All right. And now we can put it back on number six. And they should all turn off. There it goes, number six. So you can see how responsive it is. Um, like I said, sometimes you just do have to like turn it back over to slam it down to, so it gets notified that that's the trigger that you want. Um, if you want more actions and more automations, you can use this within their core app. Um, you can get like slide and turn, this uh, like a slight turnover, twist 90 degrees. But the ones I showed you today, just the six different um, scenes, that is all that you can do in the home kit. Hope this video was helpful. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.